Jim Schwartz was asked, did he think Miles Garrett is worthy of Defensive Player of the Year? In my mind, the uh, definition of a great defense or a great player is when an opponent starts their game plan with, um, we're, we're going to take care of this guy, right? Like, we're not going to let this guy beat us. And he's still able to be effective. And he's still able to, um, you know, to play at a high level. So there, there are a lot of guys that can make plays when they don't see attention and things like that. But, you know, in my career, I've, I've really seen it from three players. I've seen it from Miles. I've seen it from Calvin Johnson. And um, I was a young quality control coach, but it was only the first three years of his career. But I saw it from Ray Lewis also. Guys that every week the opponent said, this guy's not going to beat us. And every week that, that, that player still made plays. So, you know, Miles fits in that category, um, affects the game, helps other people make plays. Um, you know, I, you, you could, uh, we, we could have a two hour press conference of um, the ways that he affects the game. So, Quincy, I, I know you've also addressed this. Why do you think you should be Defensive Player of the Year, Miles Garrett? Nobody is as terrified as, as a defensive players, offensive coordinators versus Miles Garrett. There's not a single single player in the NFL that defense, that teams, offenses, offensive lines, just your offensive coordinator in general. There's no defensive player that terrifies a football team more than Miles Garrett. Teams are doing more for him, right? We talk about T.J. White. He's a good player, right? You would think they double team him a lot. And they do. 15% of the time, he's double team. Miles Garrett gets double team 32% of the time. 32. And these aren't normal double teams, Dave. These aren't like, oh, we're going to chip a running back at him or we're going to throw. No, they throwing tight ends, linemen, and another guard at him. Like, they got to come up with a new term for what they're doing to Miles because this isn't a simple double team. This is a just. We're not going to let him beat us. We don't care. And here's the thing that's impressive about this, Dave. It'd be one thing if it were like last year where the reason you can get away with doing that is because the rest of the defense was not good. This year is different. This defense is really good. You still got guys like Denzel Ward. You still got guys like Greg Newsome. You still got guys making plays, JOK making plays, DeAnthony Bell making plays. Like you got guys all along this defense making plays, and they still – Still, just don't want to let Miles get loose. Like they, st they know it's gonna hurt them. They know they can't get away with this strategy. But they're still like, it's better that he doesn't kill us. Look how fast Justin Fields got rid of that ball last week. The second he felt like Miles could come. All right. That is fear. Right. That is domination. That is the best defensive player in the NFL because that is the dude who wrecks the most game plans and he don't even have to make a play to do it he just has to exist okay <laughs> it's derail revis level stuff